Hi, I'm Chris Rice, and I'm here to show off this parts caster base that uh, we did some work on. It came to us, and it was a green, and we stripped the green off, did the sunburst. Uh, new pick guard that doesn't have the notch cut out for the P base thing. Uh, made a plate to cover up the existing humbucker pickup hole for the bridge pickup. Custom bridge pickup moved over for a new location. Uh, complete rewire and just a touch of setup. So uh, here's the neck pickup, which is a Rio Grande. Nice tone to it, a uh, little, little bit of background noise, um, not getting it right now. Um, playing through a Quilter Tone Block 200 into a pair of Bag End S15D cabinets. Uh, normally I was using a Puma 900, but that's not functioning right at the moment. So the location of this neck pickup means it, that doesn't, it can't play that harmonic. So one of the things I wanted with the new bridge pickup was to be able to get those harmonics to ring out. So this is the bridge pickup, the one that I wound. It's based off of a Stringmaster uh, lap steel pickup, and then with some other uh, Supro lap steel uh, pickup winding tricks in there. And then I ended up changing it with some uh, additional magnetic tricks to get it to do what I wanted. is both pickups in parallel, a normal connection. And the volume knob, very even response. Knobs are located such that at the halfway point, the set screw is pointing straight up, so you have a visual indicator of where you're at. That's the halfway point. There's three quarters. Full on. And then one quarter. Second and fourth positions are both series connections, but they're blends. So it's a series, and when it's in the second one, it's the bridge pickup in full and the neck pickup blended in in series part way. So you have a series connection favoring one side, which gives you the benefits of series without the overdriving of your input stage and the misbalanced tonal output compared to the other positions. And the fourth position is full neck pickup with using the bridge pickup as a booster. And that booster is adjustable 
using this trim pot back here. It's got a silver dot that lines up to a dot on the switch for uh, my favorite setting. Oh, you can see the original green in there too. So the, if, I'm not, if I'm playing the neck pickup and I bring in the bridge pickup in series, I get a little bit thicker tone with a better harmonic response. Very reminiscent of a split coil P bass. And other harmonics. significantly louder than the neck pickup on its own. Contour up a little bit, which 